Bigger than I thought it'd be in here. like a glass floor or plastic floor. I think there used to be lights under here. It's a mirrored ceiling. Yeah, this was a, looks like a bar or a dance club. I never saw a motel actually have like this much to offer to uh, it's guests. There's the beverage system. Beer bottles. Yes, this must have been dance floor up here. This reminds me of a uh, Saturday Night Live with like the light up floor with mirrors. This floor is very soft. under there. This might have been maybe DJ booth. That's 
colored fluorescent lighting. Seems like it dates back to maybe the 70s, early 80s. Shot glasses. This is a pretty big bar. Here, right? Here, the camera focusing, it's so quiet. Icicles. Cooler. Where you're walking is a light up dance floor. Oh, that's pretty neat. What are my Yeah, mirrored ceilings and a light up dance floor. And this was a bar over here. Party favors for New Year's Eve or something. Yeah, Happy New Year. And what a coincidence, we're here one day before New Year's Eve. That looks like those uh, things that they carry pizza in. storage room looks like nothing in there it's like maybe somebody was staying in here at one point old bedding and sheets For the season. Yeah, a whole box is all New Year's stuff. <laughs> I said, we're, what a coincidence, we're here one day before New Year's Eve. <laughs> this place is pretty big. It is. There's a whole kitchen and office and everything over on the way you're going right now. I didn't even see that yet. That's the dance floor. This might have been like a little eating area. I 
thing that should have been on the outside of the building. That's the first sign I've seen here. This looks like the front door area, or the lobby. It's definitely seen better days. This has some different uh, trim around here. It's like little grooves. Yeah, this place is pretty big. I wasn't expecting this. This might have been the living quarters for the owner. Possibly. Or no, maybe this was um, like a little banquet hall or dining hall. There's a little awning here. This may have been where they had food under here. Yep, probably like a salad bar or something. Here's some stuff. I wonder if that mustard's still good. There's some salt and pepper shakers. A lot of broken dishware. There's a silverware tray, coffee cups, coffee mugs. I don't think that. Uh, ice cream cup for desserts. Robert Redford Quiz Show. It's gotta be dating back. Let's see the date on that. Uh, well, it looks like they may have had an auction here when it closed. It looks like the room numbers. I gotta say, this is pretty impressive for a motel to have this much space. A dining room, so to speak, a um, bar, dance club. And it just keeps going. There's another beverage center. Oh, here we go. That's what I was looking for. Nine times out of ten calendars are a good indication as to the last time that the business was in operation. And according to this, it's 2003. So that's a very good indication that it may have closed at that time. Well, it looks like it was for sale at one point. You got a four slice toaster. Don't know what that is. I believe this is the back kitchen area. This looks like where the grillers would have been. Yeah, right there is the grease trap. You just assemble works good. That was knowledge. And they have a sheet over there on the wall too for tables and stuff for sale. Oh, it's actually in the other room. Um, like green tables, fifteen dollars and stuff. Oh wow. Extra money as they could. Yeah. Got a nice big safe in there, too. Yeah, all these paperworks are dated 2003 and earlier. There's still checks in here. Same question always arises when these locations become empty and abandoned. Why is so much left behind? And for the amount of locations I've filmed, I still cannot answer that question. You know there's checks in here? What's that? There's checks? Yeah, I see those too. I didn't get too close to them, but... Yeah, they're cashed already, but... 
I already stand by the bank. 1994 checks. Boxy and two-door in, that's probably what it's called then. Hmm? Two-door in. Two-door in? Yeah, that's probably the name of the building. Oh, T-U-D-O-R. I found a menu in the winter room too. It had a different name on it, but... Yeah, there's many for a stamper. Yeah, here it is, two door in. T U D O R I N N. Okay, we got another calendar here, another date of 2003. So that looks like the last year of operation, so we're going on 15 years now of being closed. Thankfully, they're not stopping for us. <laughs> There's one of those. This might have been the name of the. You think it was the name of the restaurant in here? Yeah, that's because it's the same address. Yeah, because it says Blake City Madison. Yeah, Inn. same phone number. I'm just blown away by a motel having this much. Yeah, because when we drove past it, it didn't look no, massive I, I, when you walk in it. I'm surprised as how much is here. Like room after room. Yeah, as I was saying before, as I was walking past there for a season, I'm like, wow, there's even more room still in this place. And here's some uh, more menus. Lakesley Mass, and then. There's another calendar, 2003. So, three calendars at the same date. Even the calendar that's in here that's like a. Uh, Looks like an employee tank because it says when taking reservations, fill out all areas. That's in September. Oh, okay. Oh. Got old bottles. Rum. Peach schnapps. Some oil. Captain Morgan. Everybody else that in there. That bar area still had uh, shot glasses in there and um, um, drink cups and over in the other room. Yeah, I see it. Somebody probably climbed over and jumped down. Looks like there's a door up on that side, but there's CDs in there. Is there? Yeah, there is. Yeah, it's a tight squeeze. <laughs> yeah, it's a DJ booth. Mary J. Mary they were rocking out. Huh? Mary J. Blige? Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing. So this would be the view of the club from the DJ booth. Just gonna imagine some old 70s music playing. on the floor, people wearing bell bottoms. And this is back behind the DJ booth and looks like we got some old vinyls or something here. All right, oh, those are the mats that go on the turntables that the vinyls go on top of. Here we go. All roads lead to you, Steve Warner. Rolling Stones. Epic, Brand New Lover. I think these are 45s. Just let put all of them right there. It's a small DJ booth, but I guess it served its needs. Hey, this place was something to see back in the day. I'm gonna do a little digging on this location if I do find any information. It'll be added to this video in the subtitles, so may or may not have some facts on this place. We'll see what we can find. I just don't know how the hell people got in and out of here. And by the looks of this, it looks like it's an outdoor patio or something. Outdoor bar, outdoor patio, or 
decking possibly for the pool. It's right there. Let's go check some of these rooms out. It's like they all have that old wood paneling. And they're all pretty much gutted and stripped. And nothing too exciting in here to see. It looks like the old sign, two door, and a marquee sign. Here's a shot of the exterior of the building. You can see it had a nice road front property here. And this is where guests would arrive when they're gonna check in. There's the front door and inside there was the nightclub and everything else that we found. All right guys, that is a look at the abandoned motel. Like I said, I'm very surprised at how much is inside of here with the nightclub, the restaurant, the dining area, the amount of rooms. It's pretty impressive for what they had. And being shut down for 15 years, the inside honestly isn't that bad except for what the vandals did and you know some natural decay. But overall, there's not really much mold. Not a whole lot of graffiti, just certain areas. But uh, overall, it was a good explorer. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up.